App Development Introduction to App The word app is an abbreviation for application. An app is a piece of software. It can run on the internet, on your computer, or on your phone, or any other electronic device. This is same thing as a software program. Mobile Apps Information and Communication Technology, ICT, is incomplete without the knowledge of portable devices like tablet, PCs, laptops and smartphones. Nowadays, smartphone is very common as it is used for multi-purpose. You can do the following using a smartphone. Voice call using cell phone service. SMS Text messages using cell phone service. Voice chat using WhatsApp. Text chat with graphics, audio, video attachment using WhatsApp. Video chat using WeChat and IMO. Take photograph or selfie. Record video. Play games. Connect to social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Use internet banking. Pay bills using Paytm like apps. Make reservation in bus, train and flights. Use navigation apps like Maptrix to locate any place with step-by-step -step guidance. Book cabs for instant traveling using Ola-like apps. Watch videos on YouTube. Play FM radio for music and news. Send and receive mail using Gmail and other services. There are so many new applications on smartphones, but trending one is e offered by NCRT. Using e students can study e-books of NCRT on smartphones. Now, let us learn about installing and using some important apps. Downloading apps from Google Play Store. You can download any apps from Google Play Store on your smartphone. Steps are as given here. Select the Play Store on your mobile screen. Type the name of app that you want to download. For example, search for Encyclopedia. Select the particular app from the search list by touching it. Now, screen will prompt you to install the app. Touch the Install button. A pop-up screen will ask you to accept the terms and conditions. The app will ask you to permit the app to access your personal information. So be careful and read it carefully that only limited access and use will be permitted. Touch the Accept button. Now downloading will start. Wait for a while. After a while you will be prompted to open installed app. Touch the Open button. Now the app is ready to use. No more. Mobile apps are everywhere, transforming our personal and professional lives. Wiki Encyclopedia Wiki Encyclopedia app can be used as online encyclopedia and you can study about any facts in it. Once you install this app, you just take the keywords for search like Taj Mahal and you will get complete information about it. Maptrix Navigator This navigator app determines your global position by using GPS technology and locates your exact position, even your street and house number. Then you can set the destination address in the app and this navigator follows you and guides you in whole the way to reach the destination by the navigation and voice alerts. This is very interesting and valuable app to take help for reaching any new or unknown place. WhatsApp WhatsApp is the most popular and common chatting app. It can help you to text conversation, sending pictures, video, audio clips and even you can use its voice chat feature 
that replaces phone. Normally, you need not download this app as it is pre-installed on all Android phones. To chat on the WhatsApp, just touch its icon. Touch on contacts. The contact list will appear. Find the name of person by touching the zoom tool and entering the name in the search box. For example, I am finding Kalpana to chat. Now you can start typing and sending the messages in the chat window. Sending attachments. You can send pictures, sound or video clip while chatting to a person. Touch the clip button on the top right corner. Then you will see the options for the attachment. You can send document, camera picture, picture or video from gallery, audio clip, location or contact number of any person from your phone book. Choose the option as per requirement. For example, I am opening gallery by touching it. Choose the images from gallery that you want to send. You can send maximum 10 images at a time. Touch on OK. Now, images are ready to go. If you want to reselect or cancel the idea, you can do it here. Otherwise, touch the send button. Thus, your attachment will go to the person to whom you were chatting. Similarly, you can select the video clip and send it. Voice chat on WhatsApp call. Using WhatsApp call, you can save your telephone bill. It's same as you talk to someone on telephone. For high quality audio, you need a high speed internet connection like 3G, 4G or Wi-Fi. Almost you can talk on mobile phone like other telephone calls. But better option is to use headphone for more clear audio quality. To connect the WhatsApp call, just open chat box of the person to whom you want to talk. Touch the call button on the top of your chat box. After some beeps, you can listen the voice of your counterpart and start talking. WhatsApp call is totally free, so you just need a high-speed internet and you can talk to anybody across the globe for unlimited time.